So how do I go about building an application that uses Typhoon? I certainly don't start with Typhoon and build out all my assemblies. Instead, I build the app. I focus on the app and let's take a look at the app delegate as a perfect example of that. So here uh, I have a typical app delegate. Um, you can see there's mostly no code in here. The application delegate, of course, is responsible for bootstrapping the application. So when the app launches or gets relaunched or goes into the background or foreground, then I can do certain things. So you'll notice here that um, when the application launches, I simply call initialize application. And this method is quite simple. I just set the uh, window frame and I do a couple other initialization tasks like initializing the logger, initializing the application cache, which is down here, of course. And all this is the responsibility of the app delegate. Um, when the application becomes active, I want to sync my data. I want to go out and compare the local version of the data with what is at the remote endpoint. And if there is a newer version of data available, I want to go get it. But that's not the responsibility of the app delegate. The app delegate just calls a component that does it. You'll notice, though, one of the cool things about uh, Typhoon that I mentioned earlier is that there is no reference to Typhoon anywhere in any class. And in and, and that way, it kind of feels like it's magic. Every class I write, I push all of my dependencies out. I don't want to create anything inside the application. So if I need, for example, um, loggers or uh, cache or something, or if I want here the Data Dragon Sync service, I simply declare those as dependencies and I let um, Typhoon inject them. Look at uh, some of the view controller classes and the, and the same thing happens here. So I have uh, property um, properties declared for my dependencies and I let I let Typhoon inject them. Once I start getting some functionality in place then I start thinking about Typhoon and I'll go create my um, use plist integration which allows me to inject into the app delegate and to any views in the storyboard, view controllers, and then I just sort of let it evolve. I start writing code, I start building out commands, I start pushing my dependencies out, and Typhoon just works its magic and it, it injects what I need where I need it. And the cool thing is when I get something injected, like here, the content resolver, if it has its own sets of dependencies, and it does, as we can see here, look at the header file, um, it, it declares an initializer with a bunch of dependencies, and these are all injected by Typhoon as well. So it greatly reduces the amount of code that I have to write and simplifies everything. So let's summarize. In order to build a Typhoon-powered application, the best approach is to uh, just build your application as you normally would, except focus on pushing your dependencies out. And what I mean by that is declare them as either properties or as initializer arguments and let them assume they're going to be passed in from somewhere else. And then just write your code. Um, then when you start building your assemblies, you, you should, as a rule of thumb, for app, the app delegate and for any view controllers, you should use property injection and for all other classes, any custom classes in your in your application, like commands or or anything else, content providers, you should use initializer injection. And I think those are good rules of thumb to follow. So you start building out your assemblies and breaking them up into modules, and then run to de declare the assemblies in the uh, plist, in the info plist for your application. And when the app starts, your dependencies will be created and injected as you uh, would expect. And the whole app just runs without, with minimal knowledge of Typhoon.